Hey everybody, what's up? It's Liv. Um, I'm back with a new video, of course. Today I'm going to be talking about how I lost 50 pounds in just a few months. First I'm going to talk about my starting weight and then the weight I am now. Um, and how far I've come. And the things I did uh, to lose all the weight. And what diet I did. What I ate usually, typically in a day. And, um, I guess motivation. So... I weighed 190 pounds at the start of my weight loss, and I lost 50 pounds, so I do now weigh 140 pounds, and I am about 5'6 and a half, maybe 5'7, so yeah, um, I lost 50 pounds in total, and I didn't do it by just working out every day, I actually didn't do that, I did the keto diet, the keto diet is a diet where you eat like under 20 grams of carbs a day um so you're not having so many carbs because carbs is one of the biggest ways you can gain weight and sugar and low sugar um on the diet i typically ate in a day i ate <laughs> barely anything you can eat on that keto diet um sometimes we'd get fancy with some foods my mom made for me when i was on the keto diet she'd make some regular meatballs with zucchini um, noodles. Um, she really like incorporated that into some of my meals to make it seem better, but the diet sucked. And I, have, I had lost so much motivation at one point where I actually gained about 10 pounds back and then I lost it again and I got really lucky about that. But the first few weeks on keto, I was eating well, for school days, I didn't eat breakfast, but when I got to lunch at school, I would eat plain, I'd eat Slim Jims, um, I'd eat pistachios as a snack, sugar-free jello, um, stuff like that, cheese sticks, and then for dinner, I'd have something different, I'd have maybe a chicken salad with a little bit of light Italian dressing, um, but for breakfast on weekends, I'd usually have like two eggs and a lot of bacon because you can eat so much bacon. Fat doesn't matter in this diet. It matters with all the carbs and sugar. Um, so I was eating about 20 grams of sugar and 20 grams of carbs on the keto diet. Maybe 15 grams of sugar. I don't remember. But this diet was the only one that has ever worked for me. I have tried the low calorie diets. Never did anything for me. Um, I don't know what it was. It's just like sticking to eating um what do we eat a day like 2500 calories or 2000 calories a day i don't even eat that much regularly i usually eat like a thousand calories a day something like that um but i found that calorie diet did not work for me specifically it could work for someone else but it did not for me workouts going to go on to workouts because workouts are kind of important at the same time when you're doing the keto diet workouts don't really matter first off since you're not eating a lot of carbs you literally you go from having so much energy because you're eating like 300 grams of carbs so I used to eat killing myself and to eating like literally 20 or below that and it, it's an energy buster, like you lose so much energy. <laughs> and I really did not want to walk, but I went on walks, I jogged a little bit. Um, I used to go out at like 5 a.m., it was the like 8th grade, I used to go out at 5 a.m. and went on a walk for an hour, got home, and got ready for school. I stopped that because I started losing weight and I was just eating really good. Um, but basically... I didn't do so much workouts, You, they're obviously so good for you. Um, and the keto diet, I didn't care how many calories I ate, by the way. Also, another thing, regulating your body food after keto. So since you're so used to eating 20 grams of carbs on keto and under 20 for sugar um, taken, once you get off of keto, you have to regulate it. So I regulated mine, I was like, Actually, being off of keto made me lose five more pounds, which was weird. But how I regulated it was I'd eat, like, slow, not that much each day until I started eating more and more. Because your body needs to regulate how much carbs you eat now. 
and now I eat about, I don't know, 150 carbs, I don't know, maybe 100 carbs a day, maybe more, I really don't know, but I, I do eat a lot of sugar, it's my biggest problem, it's not even carbs, it's sugar, that's my problem, and I try not to. And one of the tricks I used while doing the keto diet was that if I was hungry, I would eat chew on, okay? I thought my necklace fell. I would chew on gum, gum. I still have an addiction to it because it makes me not eat for a little while and then I eat. But now I just eat, I don't eat breakfast really anymore even on week weekends and even with the corona, I haven't been eating um, breakfast. I hate breakfast. You should be eating it on keto. Definitely eat it on keto. And in real life, it's a really good meal. It's a big meal. Um, so yeah, I don't eat breakfast. I eat lunch and dinner usually, and I have a lot of snacks <laughs> a day. But it ended up regulating, and I'm very happy about that. And if I do bad one day, I eat terrible one day, the next day I'll eat less and I'll work out more. But <clears throat> it's what your body does, I guess. Uh, nobody has the same body. Um, you can have similar bodies to someone, but you're never going to have anything the same. But I found that when you did the keto diet, my metabolism started to get faster. Because I do eat a lot of food now and my metabolism is pretty good right now but when I started the keto diet my metabolism was slow so the keto really does help that um, a lot also some people might hate the keto the first few weeks are so hard you feel like you're being starved but you're really eating like normal amounts of food you just feel hungry because you're so used to eating all the crap but uh, I started regulating it and everything and started eating more on the keto um, to the point where I was satisfied with the food I was eating and the snacks I had. I had a lot of like stupid snacks like low carb yogurt I'd find. Even putting strawberries in a bowl and putting whipped cream on top is really good. Like it's actually good. There's low carb tortilla rolls you can get and stuff like that. Um, I'm also going to insert a photo at the end of this video when I end, I'm going to end this video soon. I'm also going to insert a photo of before and after, um, before the keto, after the keto, and it's going to be a little bit of, a few, just a few pictures to see, you know, the difference it really does. So, um, this is my journey. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comment down below. I can answer them for keto. Um, I'm helping my friend out right now with it, so I, I just like helping with this keto stuff because I know how struggling it is, it sucks, but I hope you guys have a good day, and thanks for watching my YouTube video, I will see you guys probably later when I find more content ideas, because I was so running out of content ideas, I thought about this one, so I hope you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, <laughs> it's getting boring my YouTube channel. So please subscribe, like, comment down below if you need tips on something. And I will see you guys all tomorrow. Clips inserted, next clip.